With the new smartphones coming with 108 megapixels on the Android side and 48 megapixels on the Apple side, we must know why are these specs being thrown around without us knowing what they mean. Well, it's first defined megapixels. Megapixels, a group of one million photo sites made of one red, one blue, and two green subpixels. Generally, the greater the megapixels, the greater the resolution. But there are limits from us putting infinite megapixels. First is the file size. No one would tolerate their camera only being able to take one photo every five seconds, nor would they tolerate one photo taking up four gigabytes of storage. Second, uh, it's difficult to put many photo sites in a camera sensor without it being too expensive. And yes, you can increase the sensor size, but then the hunk of silicon becomes the price of a whale with a weight to match. Third, each pixel needs light to work. Let's make an analogy with water buckets. And you want to see how much water is in each bucket. If you want high res measurement, then you use smaller buckets but with smaller buckets you collect less water. And you don't know what water rainfall is usual and what is the standard deviation. This is the same problem with cameras, but replace the buckets with photosites, water as photons of light, and standard deviation being noise in the image. The solution to this is to have a larger sensor with the same pixels or less pixels on the same size sensor. The greater the area per pixel, generally the less noise, but the processor and the sensor do have an impact on the noise. If I'm using a Ryzen versus an Intel CPU, there will be a difference. I'll let you decide in the comments below. Still, you may want greater resolution for cropping or to flaunt or to just have better looking images. Now, what do we do? We do pixel bidding. For example, on the new iPhone with the 48 megapixel sensor, the files are only 12 megapixels. That is because of pixel bidding. Pixel bidding is where you treat four plus physical pixels as one digital pixel. This allows you to increase the low light performance throughout through the roof at the cost of some resolution. But unlike camera companies, smartphone makers advertise the number of physical megapixels and not the number of effective pixels in the file. So they're lying to you, but at least now you know how megapixels work. If you want my thoughts on the new iPhone, click here. And if you want to see our upcoming review of the A7C, then subscribe. Either way, have a great day, have a great week. I'm Evan, this is Jay-Z Tech, and goodbye.